So the heading for this section is called Exploit the Vulnerable Code Using HTML Injections. So first thing, let's log in as the root user and let's provide the password that's shown in Lab 4. Once inside of here, we're going to navigate to yourbank.com and then we're going to illustrate a couple of things. One thing we're going to illustrate is how the PHP code that we inserted inside of our custom homepage, how it's susceptible to HTML injections. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to discuss what it means to be vulnerable to this type of attack. So first thing, let's right click, let's view the page source. Inside the page source, we're going to scroll down and we're going to find that name attribute inside of our input field. And again, this is what our request function, our PHP request function, how it was referencing the data that was supplied to the username input field was based off of this unique token ID. So now the way that we're going to test this out here is we're going to add a query parameter. So what we're going to supply for a query parameter is we're going to set that my username value equal to some HTML. So my username equals and then some HTML. Now if the site is susceptible to HTML injections, it will allow this HTML to be rendered. So we hit enter. We can see the HTML got rendered over here. So now if we want to view the injection, we're going to right click and view the page source. So now inside the page source, you can see the insertion point was at the same location where we added that vulnerable PHP code. 